we got to get the number to one of these braiders. We're going to talk to them on air. We're going to see if we can get them to braid our grandmother's p ass because it's getting out of hand. Welcome back to I Know You F***ing Line with your host, <laughs> David Jolly, and your other host slash co-host slash other host, Mr. Ike Rafferty. Hey, I'm a co-host slash host slash other host, Ike Rafferty, and this is my co-host slash host slash other host, David Jolly. And uh, Happy New Year! Happy New Year, everybody. everybody! Wow. We got a very, very special guest today. Well, hold on. I mean, oh. uh, Jolly... I don't want to glaze right past it. How was your New Year's Eve? Did you do oh, anything man. exciting? It was pretty great. Uh, yeah, what'd you do? Um, we you, did. Uh, wow, you don't even remember. It the, must the, have been so fun. The, the kill Tony. Um, at the. Oh yeah, center. what happened? Yeah. Since it already happened, you can talk about it. What happened? Oh uh, well, you guys gotta watch it to find out. Are they still able to watch it? It was live streamed, right? Or yeah. So you, if you didn't see it yet, you would know. I wouldn't have to tell you what happened if you seen it. But if you didn't see it, you gotta go watch it. Awesome. Yeah. No, my New Year's Eve was crazy. Um, shit. Shit, man. I don't even think legally I can say some of the, the crazy yeah. stuff I got into. You know Hell what I'm talking about? Yeah. All un, all good legal, like fun legal stuff. I didn't like. Hell yeah. Kill a homeless man. You wait. You get a little bit more like money. That. Like that's the new thing in Austin. If that's you what kill I'm homeless men. You get not money. kill them. Is someone paying you to kill homeless men? This is men, what Charlie? we do now. <laughs> not because this is the tax bracket I want to be in this year. To have enough money. To late at night start a homeless man Thunderdome. <laughs> yeah, it's like a fight league. Yeah, yeah, where there you put them all in a giant round cage and then make them just fucking. But what you do go is at it? We swoop down, we grab a homeless man, we turn him into a ninja, like he's he's dedicated four weeks of just like of learning the ninja trade. You You're know? saying that turn you in, can turn a homeless, a into homeless a rat into a full-blown ninja in only four weeks. Yes, that's what that's what we're doing now. That's what kind of money I want to have. Come down. Why are you even Batman. doing this podcast? You should be fucking selling I, classes. I may or may not be the guy behind the mask. You know What mask? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm telling you, this is my goal. I'm dressing up as Batman this year. Oh, okay. Late at night. Okay. And I go. You're, you're taking and, after President Biden. Yes. Yes. Then I find homeless people who are, who are nice and like, ah, I'm really trying to get out of this. And you turn them mean. No, I turn them into fighting warriors for the culture. And but then, they stay nice. Yes. Okay. Then they fight in a fight league. And when, if they win, they make a lot of money. Wow. Yeah. that I mean, that sounds exciting. Yeah. Uh, would, would you pay to see two homeless guys beat the shit out of each other? Yeah. I mean, yeah. What are we talking? How much do I have to pay you? Uh, Probably tickets would probably be like 75 bucks. But for you? Homie price. $70. Pretty good deal. Thank you, Jolly. <laughs> you wow. Know, that's yeah. exciting. As we get ready to introduce our guest this episode, I just want to set the record straight that, you know, in 2023, you know, there were times where this show got a little tense and this show got a little heated and, you know, yeah. um, and positive vibes, baby. Nothing but positive vibes this whole year. What, mark my words, 2024, 100% positivity from back to front, um, from front to back. Yep. Uh, on this show. Depending on how you wipe. <laughs> you get yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wipe back to front. Whoa. Uh, so let's welcome our guest this episode. I mean, no better way to ring in the new year. With a greater guest than I could see. Probably the greatest guest we've ever had on this show. You know? Yeah. Let's give it up for Jimmy Moynihan. Jimmy Moynihan. Yeah. Yeah. That's hey. you, buddy. <laughs> it's good to be here, guys. Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, I'm excited. Jimmy, yes. How was your New Year's Eve, man? Oh, it was great. Yeah, I went to a party and. Uh, did you, you kiss anybody when the ball dropped? I did. Buddy? I met someone, and she's really wow. cool. She's white, and she's nice. nice. Yeah, you were dating a lot of Mexicans. A lot of Mexicans. Well, there's so many of them, you know. Yeah. It's like, well, I, I know that for the longest time you were like, "Please, I just need. A, I want a white girl. I, I need <laughs> I a white did, girl. Yeah. That's the only type of girl that I want." That, no, that's not true. I, I'm an equal opportunity uh, pussy hound. Hell yeah. Mexican chicks, though. I bet you that's a good time, though, right? They're great. They're caring. They're um, Right, but you're with a white chick now. With a white chick Who now. Who do you think more freaky, white girls or Mexicans? 
Oh man, I think Mexicans. Hell yeah, because I think they fighting for like a green card or something. Yep, they, they got fucking for yeah, a green yeah, card. yeah, yeah, yeah. They're it's motivated. Different. It's different They're when you're down. fucking for a green card. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole different type yeah, of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a different type of putting out. Yeah, do you yeah. guys fuck for a purpose or just for pleasure? Who me? Yeah, I, I do it just uh, because I love it. For it's the like love of the game. I mean, but you know, I'm, I'm still in a relationship. So you know how that works is like relationships are like that. I mean, you don't really get to get it like you used to when you be a like a like a young tender out here in the wild. You know, like, like you a Jimmy. young tender. You know, you just I'm fuck. not that young though anymore. You're not that old either, Jimmy. Yeah, you know. Uh, Blue Chew's coming in handy. We should be sponsored by Blue Chew. We definitely yeah. should be sponsored by. Oh, we're all old. <laughs> Speaking of sponsors, hey, New Year, we got us a sponsor. Yeah, give it up for Bio Farms. Bio, we love you, Bio Farms. Farms. You know, yeah. of all the brands we've talked about um, so far on the show, Olive Garden and Burger King and others. You know, I always hoped and I prayed at the end of it all that Bio Farms would be our first sponsor, well, and we, I'm just going to tear up. I'm yeah. so, I can't even believe it. I feel, yeah, I mean, and, and if you see Bio Farms is pretty much they're selling weed. Well, it's, I mean, it's legal weed. Though. Yeah, but it's legal, but it, it, <laughs> trust me, I know. Oh, I know. I know. Are we getting paid for this sponsor? Yes. Yeah. All you have to do, people at home, it's purchased from Biofarms and use code IKYFL20. That's IKYFL20 for 20% off or 20% off. And you will be helping black business and white business and Jewish business. Yes. Well, well right. Jimmy's just a guest, but. Well, you know. I, not that there's anything wrong. I love guests, I love our guests on the show. And, <laughs> and I think that's awesome that you're a guest. I think that's actually really, I'm jealous. So I get a cut of the sponsorship, right? Well, I might see what I can do. Jimmy. <laughs> Jolly, hey, if you got it, hold on, wait, look at the thing and tell them to use code IKYFL20 in a black voice. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, man, from Biofarms, put in the promo code IDKYK. Whoa. This IDK. is why guests shouldn't get a yeah, cut. Yeah, don't, Nothing against uh, you, Jimmy, but just <laughs> as, right, as a, you know, well, as a template. IK20 well, for 20%. Well, you, you give him a drop. Come on, Ike. Let me Shit, that black word. Shit, IKYFL20. For 20% off. For 20% off. There you go. Shit. Yeah, that's good. That's really good, right? Yeah, that's um, fucking amazing. Well, you know, it's the new year, it's the new year here, and um, I thought it'd be fun to do a, a little New Year's exercise with you guys. I, I, I passed out some paper before the show started and yeah, that's pretty cool. gave everyone markers. And, you know, I'd love to hear, you know, guys, and <laughs> I think this could inspire people out there to make some change in their own lives. Yeah. Um, I'd love to, you know, new year, new beginnings, new leaves being turned. I want to hear what your resolutions are for 2023 or 2024. Yeah, I got some. What, yeah, what, I want to know what your resolutions are for 2024. What do you what do you guys want? Start for? with Jolly. Jolly, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, OK. What's your resolution for going into the new year? Making this podcast a household name, just like fucking Ellen. Just like Hulk Hogan, you know, I, we can do it. Ike, I, I, we can do it. I believe it, man. You I'm know? not saying we it's can't. pretty much the greatest show of all time already. We Easily. might as well just hype it up a little bit more. Yeah. Just take it to the next level. Household name, like, you know, Pornhub or yeah. Xtube or, you know, X Hamster Reddit. or yeah. Red XNXX. Tube XNXX. And Whatever you do, XNXX don't. XNXX. And... Don't, don't look at the comments on Reddit. That place is evil. Bad. Fuck Reddit. The comments on XNXX, though, are usually very positive. XNXX. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. Whoa, yeah. look at the way she take that sausage. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, crazy. Them, them tickle bitties could cure cancer. Yeah. I seen some tickle bitties. I like tickle bitties. Me too. Oh, you, you like big old titties or tickle bitties? I prefer tickle bitties over big old titties. Yeah. If I'm being a dead ass. Jimmy, what's your New Year's resolution going into the new year, which we're in right now? Um, Exercise five times a week. Nice. Wow. That's yeah. Good. That's inspiring. What do you now what do you hope to do with that? Um doesn't that seem excessive? See, I'm on a, I'm on a pretty good <laughs> regimen that I've found Whoa. that works for me. <laughs> What's that's that? like uh, you know, five times every 
five years, like once a okay. year or so. Oh, you get it in real good? Well, see, like once out? a year, I'll go to an event where I end up having to park so far away from the entrance, oh. and I count that as my workout. Those are steps. That yeah. counts, yeah. And then that's like one. Steps or steps. It happens like once a year. Do you have the step app? No. Like, oh. it teaches me how to dance, like those movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, they got, that's a pretty good app, though. I'm just yeah. worried about you, Jimmy. I don't want you to collapse from no, you know, trying to show off. I, was, I, I mean, want to go to the gym. I, I want to look good naked. You know what I mean? <laughs> you, well, you I, don't know. I got, a, I got a gym membership. I um, work out. Yeah? You don't like working out? No, I love it. I love when I park too far away and I have to walk all the way to the entrance of the Paramore concert. We could work out together if you want. That'd be pretty cool. You want to go see a Paramore concert with me? Let's go do it. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> My New Year's resolution. Um, I want to forgive those who have wronged me. Oh, that's nice. Um, you know, there's been certain people who I have felt have, you know, come into what should have been a safe, creative space for me. Um, and I feel like they've you know, besmirched it and belittled it or, you know, insulted me and your way crossed a line. Yeah. You know, just, yeah. For example, Jimmy, that's, you know, one thing certain people have done and, you know, I've let certain people drag me down to their level and it's brought out a side of me that I don't like. And I don't want to, I don't want to let those people get in the way of who I know I am. And right. so that's why I am choosing to, in 2024, forgive those who have wronged me and be the bigger person, which I know I am. So if you want to give it up for that. Yeah, give it up for that. Yeah. And I guess we can keep it going for your guys' resolutions. Yeah. You could have shortened that a little bit. I forgive that you said that, Jimmy. Uh, oh, <laughs> Brandon, do you have a resolution for this year? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to quit Whippets. This that's my oh. New Year's resolution. But Brandon, you're so fun on whippets. I, and you I, produce so well. But Brandon, little peek behind the curtain. Brandon does 13 whippets before we can start any least, podcast. Yeah, yeah you got to get them whippets. We're in. sitting here usually for like 20 minutes or so, and we're like, Brandon, we're ready to go. The like, five just, more, and he's like, Oh, five more. <laughs> <laughs> it just helps me focus. You I'm know? gonna miss whippet, Brandon, but. I'm looking forward to this new era of salvia brand. Let's, let's yeah, I'm trying to get into a new drug like ketamine or, or salvia. Or you could get crack. into smoking what, the CBD or, or C THCA pre-rolls from BioFarm. That's yeah, exactly what I'm going to get into. With promo Bio code, Farm. I know you fucking lie in 20. I gave you a, a second piece of paper. It's oh. good to know what you're aspiring towards. But I think it helps to round things out when we know what you're coming out of. So what's... What's something you guys want to leave behind in 2023? Shit. You know me. Jolly? I ain't about it. Any form of negativity. <laughs> oh, my God. Unless it's on a fucking STD report. That's what you got? Yeah. Let me see. Oh, my, <laughs> my God. Negativity. Yeah. That's all right. <laughs> that's, yeah, yeah. that's incredible. That's incredible. Mine's sort of similar. Dude. What are the odds of that? You guys negativity are... can just, it can seep in so easy to own you that shit on yeah you. Mm -hmm. and it takes up ne unnecessary space in, in your, your brain in your brain yeah it's not needed i love that what are the odds that you guys have the same one that's credible yeah no mine that i want to leave behind in 2023 i want to leave behind the pain and rage i feel when others have wronged me. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah Damn, you got it's basically of... the same thing you know well now you'll see that they're totally different things oh wow yeah yeah um, th this is this is a cause and this is an effect. So you leaving the pain? I'm leaving you the pain do. behind. You uh, seem what? like an angry person sometimes. Do you get angry sometimes? No, not at all. Do you ever, <laughs> you ever wake up with a pillow full of tears? <laughs> um, you know, Jolly, I don't want to embarrass myself on the podcast, so I'm going to say no. Mm. I'm going to say no. That never happens. No, it doesn't happen every single day of my life. Damn. Yeah. Um, and Ooh, part of why that Jesus. doesn't happen yeah. is because of certain pain and rage, Ugh. um, which, I, you know, I am choosing to leave behind in 2023. Hold my okay? hand. Just breathe. Just breathe, man. Let Thank it you, Jolly. Let Thank you. Breathe, breathe, breathe. You got it, man. You mm. got it. Like, I can, I can see you letting that go. Yeah. I love that. You feel better. You're in a better place right now. Yeah. And part of it, I think is because of these resolutions and these activities, which you yourself can do at home. And I think part of it upside down is because of 
Biofarm and what I've just huffed on. And <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm feeling loose as a goose, baby, on New Year's Day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you know, that was fun. That was exciting. I like that exercise. That was fun. That was good, right? Yeah, I like when Ike gives us little no, like no assignments. To do, right? This is what I'm doing with the pain from 2023, okay? Letting it go. I'm letting it go. Jimmy? I love that, yeah. I'm letting it go. Let it go. Good. So you, you want me to kick the first one off? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and kick the first thing off? This is pretty sweet. Woman who assaulted Chipotle worker sentenced to fast food job for two months. Damn, just give me the jail time, bitch. <laughs> well, I think they gave her, <laughs> I think they gave her the option. Oh, of that? Or of yeah, it was. she could either do 90 days in jail or she could do 30 days in jail and then work uh, 20 hours a week for two months at a, at a fast food job. So well, I guess it ain't that bad. Not bad. Was she? So she, uh, Hayne was captured in a viral video screaming at a Chipotle employee before throwing her food in the worker's face. I would definitely Ooh. start back drinking if I had to work at Chipotle. Though. You know, I get it though. You, you guys, you guys ever been to Chipotle? You've been down that assembly line before. Oh, yeah. It's pretty intense. It's it gets intense in there because you know that's a busy restaurant. People want their food. Yeah. And sometimes if you're having to make an executive decision in the moment or yeah. ponder what your taste buds are into, a line starts backing up behind you and it really gets stressful. And then you got yeah. somebody yelling like, put some more rice on there, bitch. You ain't, ain't coming out of your check. Put some more rice on there, bitch. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, that I don't. A little bit of fucking chicken, you stinking bitch. Yeah, I don't like the, <laughs> the see. I don't like cilantro. I can't cilantro mm. tastes like soap to me. Mm. Um, and so when I, you know, their rice famously only has cilantro in it. Yeah. So when I go to the assembly line, I'm sorry to the people behind me, but when it's my turn, I will make the worker pick out every piece of cilantro yeah, until that's their job. I have a normal scooping with no cilantro, and that's yeah. just if it takes 20 minutes, you're gonna have to wait. It's fair. Yeah. It's fair. It makes yeah. sense. I mean. And if, if someone behind me tried to cause some shit, I'd throw my food in their face. Yeah. And Did then I'd say to the worker, you got to start a new batch of rice. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. I mean, shit. I'm, it's my dollar, you know? Yeah, I didn't you're, ask for all yeah, this cilantro. You're spending money there. You, customer is king. We're yeah. all adults. Yeah. Yeah, get back, there and, get back there and make that fucking rice, bitch. <laughs> Jimmy, I'm glad to know you'd have my back. Because I've been to Chipotle with some people, and it's ruined some friendships. It's I'm ruined sure. some relationships yeah. it's ruined he, some he sound right don't he jimmy yeah he, yeah you, yeah you'd agree with him right yeah yeah i agree no yeah you know uh food is obviously really a big part of your life and um yeah. so i'd say I, i'm sure every human would agree with that but yeah sure yeah i, do, yeah. I agree with that yeah yeah i love we food. need it to live jimmy of course yeah. i get angry i i so when i go through the chipotle line if they give me a small like a fucking shitty scoop of chicken yeah I am in, in rage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What does that so look you like? You about to lose it when I'm mad? When you're mad. Well, just go to the end of the Christmas episode to go see what that looks like <laughs> <laughs> from last week. Yeah, uh, I was not happy. I, I, I metaphorically gave you a shitty scoop of chicken last week. You did, and I'm sorry for that. Yeah, Jimmy. and then you shit oh, on top of this, it, man. Right, oh, but we're leaving that behind in 2023, right? We're leaving behind the negativity. That's yeah, right. Thank you. That's so great. that's good. Very good. Oh, wait, this is the one I shouldn't rip up. Well, yeah, the way I wrote mine or the way you wrote yours were kind of different. And yeah, yeah, you should have just wrote negativity and then you could cr yeah, yeah, rip yeah, it yeah. up negativity. But now then I'm ripping rip up, up leave leaving behind, behind negativity. negativity. So now you're going to be super negative. Yeah. Damn. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> An Ohio woman who was convicted of assault for hurling a burrito bowl at a Chipotle worker was offered an unusual way to reduce her time in jail. Now, I think it would depend. I think the real punishment would depend on which fast food place does she have to work at. And what will her hourly wage be? So you got to put her at like a church's chicken. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you got to put her in a tense yeah. environment. Yeah. Put her through the ringer. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got some sister yelling at you like, Bitch, I ordered eight peppers. It ain't nothing but three peppers in here. <laughs> and that's going to be so bitch. sad for her when her own sister comes in and treats and slaps her like that. The shit yeah. her. At her place yeah. of work. Her sister. I've yeah. seen Popeyes get physical, man. Yeah. You get physical in Popeyes. Yeah, well, didn't someone, you know, someone died over a chicken sandwich yeah. there a few years Somebody, ago? Somebody, yeah. It's pretty intense. It's intense. Yeah, well, you got to die for what you uh, believe in. Believe in. And yeah. if you're passionate about chicken, 
sometimes you die for people got to die. Yeah. Is there something? <laughs> what are you? What What would you die for, Jimmy? Uh man. What's one thing in this world, food or non? Doesn't have to be food. Although non is really good. You read non. I love. I would die for non. Yeah. What's yeah. non? You ever had Indian food? Yeah, I had Indian food before. I had like the noodles. You, you mean no? They don't really. They're not Indian food and Thai food. I'm thinking of Thai food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Indian yeah. more of like like curry, yeah, and like that kind of shit. Oh, okay, okay. They have non as their bread. It's like a roti almost. Does it open up? And it's like it's a, like a pita. It's a okay, pita. Yeah. You dip it in like that green sauce. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking. Garlic about. Garlic naan. Yeah. Let me tell you. Because uh. Guyanese food is kind of similar. Guyanese food is is like well, they both Indian, except yeah. for these. Is that a uh, island like, Indian? Is that uh, like gay Vietnamese or what is that? Yes. Uh, no, nah, they like they like the, the cool ones. Guyanese is more like Jamaican accent, island vibes. Yeah, man. But they like yeah, man. They still come up there and it's oh, like, like Chet Hanks. You mix them together. Right. Yeah, it's like I think Chet Hanks is from that island. He is. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think yeah, Chet probably from Guyana. Yeah. Did you don't like Chet Hanks? No, he 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 has that accent. Yeah. Yeah. That because because he's from that island. He's from that island. Yeah. Yeah. His, well, because his dad, everyone knows when his dad was filming Castaway, he yeah. they had Chet Hanks on that island. On that yeah, island, and, that's and then when they finished filming, they accidentally left him there. They left him there for, and then for a while, years. for like twenty yeah. years. So he yeah. grew up with that accent. Yeah. Poor Chet. He poor never Chet. had a chance. Never had a chance. Yeah. Poor sweet Chet, man. <laughs> pretty, but pretty Colin, well. though, now that's a good boy. He got it. Yeah, Colin's a good boy. Do you, do you Colin remember? Hanks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's his other son. It's what? like Goofus and Gallant, Gallant, Gallant. Oh. oh, so he like a smart person, the other guy. He's just like a little cream puff. He he looks like uh, fucking Sheldon on Big Bang Theory. Oh, you okay. love that show. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good show. <laughs> yeah, it's a great show. Yeah. I don't love that show. What do you mean? Oh, you talk about it a lot. Yeah, you do. What? Yeah. Big do, Bang Theory. Do you like Big Bang Theory? I've never seen an episode. You haven't? No. Oh. Well, you have a joke about it. Yeah, I do, because it's a funny topic. Okay, don't get defensive. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm I'm enjoying a, a healthy conversation. If, a healthy yeah. conversation. A healthy back if and Big forth. Bang There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah ain't nothing wrong no, with that. No, conversation is positive. We're no, getting to know yeah. each other. So it's, why do you feel it necessary? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh, shit. And again, we're just having a good, clean, positive <laughs> conversation. Clean. Why do you find it necessary to... Um, why do you have a joke about what you have jokes about? Well, I, I take it from my real life. I'm mm. genuine. Mm. You know, My comedy is a reflection of myself. You're and real and you're raw. I'm very thoughtful, my comedy. It's not for everybody. Like like a gangster. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm like a gangster. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of like a jazz musician with my comedy. You know, like I'm like dancing in between the lines. Sometimes the com the you know, the, the music is in the notes I'm not playing. So you pretty much like a you, the way you just blow those songs about those them dick jokes, you just yeah. right on them dick jokes. Well let's be careful about saying what I if I blow stuff in the same sense it's with dick and jokes, but yes. Yes, I get what you're saying. Um, it's like it's like it's artful, it's peaceful. Yes, it your really is. Uh, your I, comedy is a lot like jazz. Yeah, in that, in what, in what way? It's, it's beautiful. It's melodic. It's melodic, but <laughs> God, it's so hard to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> what I was going to say is it's your uh, I'm not going to say this, but what I was going to say before I stopped myself was your act is a lot like jazz, but a jazz performance gets more laughs. But I'm not going to say that. I'm proud of myself for not saying it because I like I ripped up the negativity thing. And uh, man shocked to discover source of headaches for five months is pair of chopsticks in his skull. Damn, how'd that happen? How did that happen? He's he say a man recall getting in a fight while out getting drunk. I wonder how if he got into a fight on a podcast. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So he, the man experienced severe headaches for five months. Doctors at Cuba Friendship Hospital. <laughs> Imagine going to Cuba Friendship Hospital. <laughs> uh, to find out you have chopsticks in your skull, what a yeah okay. How, how what kind? Of, what were they fucking drinking? They probably, were getting fucked up. Probably some sake. It had to be yeah. Had, do people in Vietnam drink sake too? I think it's a 
What I is thought it? That was a Japanese. It might movie. be a Japanese thing. I'm getting my uh, Asians confused. But I'm pretty sure they do the same thing. You know, like red beans, black beans. You know. Yeah. Like I hate it when I'm talking to my Puerto Rican friend and I'm like, uh, Dominican Republic. And they're like, I'm not Dominican. I'm like, fucking red beans, black beans. You know, like yellow rice, white rice. Yeah. It's fucking rice. It's rice. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, what I'm come saying? on, relax. Yeah. I know that's yeah. rice. Your, <laughs> I know. Like, you know, get yourself together. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's serious. That's probably racist, know. but I got to throw in a little racism. I'm coming with more racism this year. I think racism is hilarious. It or is prejudice. Really funny. Prejudice is, I'm going to say prejudice. Yeah. It's hilarious. And I think the world needs more of it. Yeah, like, you know, like, uh, like 80 years ago in Germany, there was this really hilarious thing they were doing over there. Um, whoa, it was so was funny. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Go read about it. Open up any textbook. It, you'll have a good laugh. Um, I, I mean, you know, you got to be getting fucked up to have chopsticks in your head to wake up oh. and you just completely forget about it. Instead of happened during a fight. Can you go up just a little? Right. And I said, remember when yeah. I said, was the fight on a podcast? Remember that? Oh, okay. Remember that good joke I yeah, said? Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Um. <laughs> 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 Told doctors that he could not recall many details from the fight, but did remember someone stabbing him in the face with an unknown object. Wow. <laughs> I guess you would remember that. Yeah. Fucking yeah. brain. Yeah. He was really getting his ass whooped, man. Yeah, That's a <laughs> royal fucking ass whooping. Yeah. When you it could... ends with chopsticks yes, in your brain. In your brain. You got fucked up. Damn. Wow. He must well, have been a trooper. They removed he kept him. fighting, though, with the yeah. chopsticks. Yeah, it kept going. They removed the chopsticks. and uh, Maybe it was just like half a chopstick. No. I saw the um, brain oh. scan. Fucking two of them. Damn. In his brain. And he's fine? Yeah, I guess he's fine. Yeah. As be, fine as you're going to get with chopsticks in your brain. It'd be funny if they ate afterwards with the chopsticks. Oh, I guess some fried rice. Fried rice. That'd be funny? Yeah, I think so. What the fuck is this? He got to <laughs> chill, bro. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, in, I knew, uh, I knew his... when you go into a new year, a lot of people start new exercise plans. Some yeah. people, you know, get you know makeovers and, and some people decide to really take their health and their wellness and their overall appearance um yeah. into account and really try to zhuzh it up um and and come out looking fresh and fit and uh this is uh you know a uh, a video of a i believe a barber um across the ponds uh somewhere uh with an interesting approach to uh, male grooming huh Oh my god, look at those eyes. What the fuck is this, man? Ooh. Oh, th man, these Indian people got to chill the fuck out, man. <laughs> Somebody's okay, going to get hurt. Oh, thank you for the sounds, Brandon. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. He might have so, popped that boy in. For the listeners, there is uh, ears. an Indian barber, I believe, um, who is very aggressively... <laughs> I've never had a barber do any, any of these moves. He's massaging his neck. Massaging the, the neck. man's neck, rubbing his temples. And yeah. Have you ever had a barber do any of these things to you? No. Ooh. You know, I, I have been to a barber where they, like, you know, put, like, a massager on your shoulder, and they put, like, a, you know, a hot rag on oh, your yeah, face. I, got hot I like that. But I, I like never the got hot like that, that neck snap or that ear pop. You never had your ear pop? <laughs> nah. <Yeah. laughs> never. That's fucking crazy. Let's do it. I'll pop you guys. Let's let's pop. We'll start with Jimmy. You want to pop your ear, Jimmy? We'll, that will why, save why that we, for the next one. Why don't okay. we see if we can fly this Indian man over here? Yeah. And we, we let him do hat cuts in the back of the creek. Well, once again, if you're watching and you use, <laughs> you use promo oh, code IKYFL20 on Biofarm's website, we, we'd be able to afford that in the budget. Yeah. If yeah. It, yeah you go know, just buy a little Biofarm's. We, it, listen. If we get enough of this bio for him, so we're going to find this Indian man. Yep. We're going to fly him over here. He's going to do free haircuts in the back of the creek for homeless people. Yeah. And we'll pay him with bio farm we'll weed. Bio yeah. We'll pay him in pre-rolls and <laughs> yeah. dope hats. Hell yeah. Hope you like THA. THA. THCA. THCA. Yeah, yeah, they, got, yeah. they got some edibles, too, that like they're good for like medical shit. You know, like. Relax and shit. You know what edibles are. <laughs> yeah, medical shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, medical. Yeah. Like, I, look, I know what you look, mean. Look, if yeah. I need to relax, 
I'm gonna go see this guy. Yeah, yeah. Because these guys, look at this man. I he bet looks you, so like, relaxed. He probably creamed his damn pants. When he got <laughs> it looks like, like it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He is in look Nirvana. At, look, yeah, he, this guy, <laughs> Nirvana. This, that's definitely a state of Nirvana. He doesn't right look there. like anybody in the band Nirvana, Jimmy. Uh, it's, it's a it's a practice. You're such a poser. <laughs> Stop playing that. <laughs> <Yeah. I can't laughs> keep, keep that. That shit is disturbing. Ain't it? <laughs> that right, sound. For the, for the listener, Jimmy is now just jerking off. No, I'm about to vomit. Did you ever shit, vomit, and uh, piss at the same time? Have you? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, imagine if you did. You imagine if your shit, your nose is running, you're shitting, you're vomiting, and you're pissing and sweating all. At every single I, orifice of your body is. I think is, I done did that before. Yeah, I think so too. I have did that. Yeah. Because I shit, I was shitting, then I threw up in the toilet. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't did that before. I was pretty drunk though. Yeah, I was yeah, yeah. Way past <laughs> Now, did you, know, you come afterwards? That would be. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Probably did. Yeah, I, I probably jerked off after that. I mean, <laughs> for whatever reason, jerking off is like my answer to everything. Well, yeah, you jerk off. Then you know, you and then you worry that. about something. Yeah, and then you be like, okay, now what are we placing? <laughs> you know what happens to me is like I'm I psych myself up to get something done, and um, as soon as I start, I'm like I should jerk off first. Yeah, you know, because I, mean? I got to be fucking calm and collect. Yeah, it yeah. really solves a lot of problems. Sometimes I'll be jerking off, and then I'll think I should jerk off first. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ever yeah. get bummed out because you're you like you want to jerk off, but you just did, so you're like, "Fuck." You ever be like ninety eight percent through jerking off, and you're like, "Oh, I'm almost done." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> Damn it! Right, it's like the, you get towards the end of a book, and you're like, "Oh, I'm gonna oh. read it slower Damn so it doesn't end." Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, like when with reading a book, you know, if you go to the last page, like you ever get a book and then go right to the last page first and just kind of like take a little peek See, at what yeah. happens. Sometimes I do that with jerking off. The second second one, you just, I'll just go come. to the end of the I'll, video. No, I'll just come immediately. Oh, that's what happens. Yeah. The guy yeah. comes on her face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Spoiler oh, okay, alert. Okay. Well, yeah, no, I don't want any tension. Where when I'm watching this video, I'm like, how is it going to end? You know, I'm, yeah. Which one you like? Uh, when they come on a face in their mouth or on a back? Hmm. I like face. I'm all about the face. I like when some gets in the mouth and then she s slowly lets it like pour out of her mouth. And then she goes, ah. Yeah, see, that's interesting, Jimmy. That's really, yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm far less wasteful with my approach. I like it when they, we, they immediately put it into a cup and then donate it to a bank. Oh, that's I like good. that. That's yeah. very ethical, yeah. Yeah. These are very large penis men in porn usually. And it's like, why not spread see, the wealth and I'm, I'm let the next the... generation of men and women have large dicks and clits like they can have yeah. like a, like a, a dick farm just have a bunch of fucking <laughs> giant dick motherfuckers just keep donating. <laughs> like like, yeah. like my favorite kind is the ones with like the parodies when they got a good because i'm a thespian so i like a good acting out oh my god are yeah. you coming out right now Huh? No, I'm a thespian. thespian. Oh, thespian. Okay, gotcha. I, I'm yeah. an actor. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was a thespian at one point in my life. Yeah. yeah so I like it when they're like, do 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 do, and they say, "Hey, boss man, I just got done doing all the work." Well, that's not really Anything a parody, you but you you do? like a scenario. You scenario. like it to be well, a parody. Well, they they have the fresh parody would be parody. like if it's like Family Guy or some bullshit. Yeah, they got a Fresh Prince parody. Uh, oh, so you only you only watch black parodies? Oh yeah, yeah, it's fucking weird with white people naked. <laughs> it's weird. It's, well, that's the reason. That's part of the reason why Jimmy needs to work out five times a week. It is he looks weird. weird naked. White people naked. It's like it's like it's too many white people. It's naked. a little it's much. Little yeah. So are you gonna work out until Jolly thinks you look good naked? Or what that's you, the goal, baby. It's never gonna happen, yeah. man. You're gonna collapse. You're gonna yeah. work out. Forever. <laughs> I'll just wear a uh, black body. Black body. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You've he, heard of that, black face. Yeah. yeah. Now, here is black, black that's true. body. Everybody white, knows. Yes. White <laughs> it's 2024, guys. You can't do black face. Yeah. So we have to adapt. There's no rules on black body. Yeah. Yeah. Humans are always I, evolving. Yeah. I've never heard of black body. It's coming. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. Jimmy, will you do black body on the next episode? Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm down. Damn. Yeah, I got the stuff in my backpack, <laughs> just in case. Just in case. You never know when you need to go black body, you know? Yeah. I understand. Imagine that. Mm. But yeah, porn is great. And uh, woman. 
Woman enters. Woman enters. Yeah. Oh, oh do you, no, no, go oh, ahead. You, go ahead. Uh, oh, no, you. You go ahead. I, oh, but. Oh, I, oh. But, oh. <laughs> woman Brandon, enters. Brandon, why don't you, Brandon, why don't you go ahead? <laughs> All right. Woman enters M- MRI machine with a gun, gets shot in the butt. The 57-year-old woman denied having any firearms <laughs> before entering the MRI, according to adverse event report filed to the FDA. Huh. That sounds like case, a black lady. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be a black lady. That's an old black lady who keep that pistol on her at all. What was her name? So now before we launch into that article, you think it's an old black lady who keep that thing on her. At all times. I'm case, thinking yeah. it's someone who it's like, you know, you ever heard of suicide by cop? Mm. By cock? By cop. Jimmy. Oh cop, you yes. pervert. Get yeah, your yeah. mind out of the porn hub. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Uh, <laughs> by cop? What's all because... no, what I'm saying suicide by cop. I think this woman maybe wanted to end it all. And, and she, she knew if I out? hide this gun in my ass. Yeah. It was in her pussy, probably. I'm going to hide this gun in my pussy. It's going to yeah. shoot my she ass got clean a fucking off. Huge pussy. Big gun, pussy. Right? That's a big old yes. pussy. Well, babies come out of there, and babies are like at least five guns' lengths. True. Yeah, but it's like. It's but that's like, and, they're, and, they're, and they're like the thickness of like 12 guns. That's a dilated like, that's pussy. When, that's when they body turn it into like machines and they like. <laughs> they open up. <laughs> well, yeah, now she's putting the dye in she dilated. Got, that's a big old pussy. Yeah. It's a big pussy. I don't want none of that. She'll drown you. A woman's medical exam turned into a literal pain in the butt thanks to a poorly (laughs) placed firearm. An adverse event report sent to the Food and Drug Administration earlier this year details an alleged incident where the woman was shot in the right buttock by her own gun that was activated by a magnetic resonance imaging machine. Man. The MRI. That's how I want to go. Yeah. Is she she dead? With a shot in the ass? Thankfully, the injury was relatively mild and she recovered just fine. Mm. Well, that's embarrassing. See, I would almost rather die. Now you got to go around having the greatest show on planet Earth talking yeah. about you. I mean, how embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah, when this gets back to her, she's going to be devastated. It's yeah, going to ruin her New Year's. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sure. Yeah, it's definitely going to ruin her New Year. Damn. Man. Damn. All right. Well, that's that was fun, that one. Have you guys um ever shoved a gun up your pussy? Nah. <laughs> I didn't say I have. I Look, haven't. you know, not all of these articles are going to always – give us jumping off points okay so we're doing what we can here yeah i mean well, like, we go through it yeah well, what would make you and when the guy asks you hey do you have any firearms why wouldn't you just say all right well, take this gun out of my pussy and put it on you know well, maybe I mean? she was embarrassed yeah, by honesty. that point well maybe she got to the point she was like oh fuck i didn't even oh well, this <sighs> is embarrassing it's in my pussy now yeah, yeah. or forgot. she just forgot sometimes you forget you have a gun in your pussy True. That's like it's like when you have your glasses on your head and you yeah, forget. Yeah, where's, you know, where where's my yeah. gun? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, in oh it's in my pussy. She, there's yeah. probably been so many times where she's gone around looking for like, where is my, where, I can't find my where gun anywhere. Where's my gun? Yeah, probably oh. when she go to Target or maybe Walmart. That's not like a Walmart move if you're keeping a gun in your pussy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Walmart is the place to have a gun in your pussy. You got to have one in your pussy. I think it kind of say that on the front of Walmart. It's safe. To keep a gun in your pussy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a big old pussy, though. It's a yeah. big pussy, but, like, isn't it crazy that you could be talking to someone and you could have no idea that they have a gun in their, their pussy. pussy? They got a fucking gun. Just that is normal. so fucking true. I'm like, I'm, wow. Now I'm going to leave here and every single person I talk to, I'm going to just, that's all I'm going to be thinking about. Do yeah. they have a gun What's in their the pussy? What's the chances of her having a gun in a pussy? Are they packing heat? Yeah. Yeah. You can ask, hey, um, by the way, do you I don't, have a gun in your pussy. Yeah, kind of off the record. I mean this yeah. in the, <laughs> off the record. Off the record. <laughs> Not on the record. Yeah. yeah. Look, and, and you this couldn't even really this room. you couldn't even really fault them. It's a it's a dangerous world we live in. There's these are some mean streets. Yeah. Um, mean um, streets of Austin. Mean yeah. streets. Speaking of mean streets, um, this is a great video. Here's a video of some mean streets somewhere. In, the title is he perfor he prefers German models. And this one's definitely going to need some editing on it, but... Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think so. I think you can see something can for a you? second here. Yeah, I'm pretty right. sure he's going to whip his wing out. All right, so there's a gentleman um, standing. We're waiting for the video to load. There's a gentleman standing um, on a street curb uh, between two cars, and... He uh, is doing that look that you do right before you take your dick out in public. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jimmy, <laughs> that's, that's, how do you know that look? Oh, you know, I've dabbled with pulling my dick out in public. Oh my God! Where at? Oh, I was in my early twenties. Where at? Um, grocery stores. Jimmy, uh, we're gonna have to edit this out. Man, you was uh, a wild boy, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. The video's looking. He's looking around. All right. He's What's dipping he down. Oh boy. Uh, he's pulling his. Oh, oh that boy like the fuck cars, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
That boy's sticking his goddamn uh, shaft in, in the tailpipe. Jolly, yeah. it's 2024. Yeah, that's kink shaming. I'm sorry. A man can fuck a car in broad daylight if he so identifies as being someone who would do that. <laughs> yeah, he's, if, he's trans. You and. know, the worst thing about what he's doing right now. No, it's not trains, Jimmy. It's cars. Um, I the worst trans. thing. trans. Oh, okay. Trans I wonder if he lubed that bitch up before he fucked. <laughs> I wonder. Or he just raw dog that tailpipe yeah. like that. The worst offense in this video is that he's wearing flip flops. That's true. Because then they're gonna think he's from Florida. Man. Yeah, we don't need that on. Yeah, us. we got enough crazy shit going on from Florida. He's in the zone too. He's going for wow. it. I mean, this is a long video he's, zone recorder. He's doing that <laughs> yeah. the look around. Like look, the, he know they watching. He'll he knows they're watching. He loves it. I it's think part he of the thrill. Likes it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's thrill. getting close. <laughs> is he close? <laughs> Jesus, I don't know how much of this we can show. This feels <laughs> <Well, cool. laughs> cool. Wait, let's just watch till he oh, finishes. Oh, that boy <laughs> Oh, he's done. He busted. Oh, he busted. Oh, that boy a fucking freak. Oh, uh, shit. Yeah, oh, is that his dick? On the, Yeah. Oh, yeah, I told you dick. they've shown it a, a couple <laughs> times. All right, he's uh, done. He's, he's done. He's, oh, he looked at his, his hand. Hands. There's definitely something yeah. sticky. Yeah, there was some something sticky on his hand. Man, yeah, I'd love to see any kind of public display of affection. <laughs> yeah. I celebrate you know, it. Yeah, I'm not a prude, but PDA does seem to cross the line I love at some that. points. Good for him. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, now, if he did it during school hours, that's a little absurd. But if it's like five. Three or four thirty, five o'clock. Well, I think during school hours is the point when to do it, so there's no kids around. They're in school. Well, oh yeah, because if it's four or five, they might walk. By. They're out. They're walking around. Yeah, you don't want any kids to see this. This is actually, I think, during school hours would be the smartest time to do. They've it. They've seen what? worse what? things on television, though. I'm pretty sure that'll fuck them up for a while. They see a, a old brown dude fucking a tailpipe. <laughs> yeah. I think a, lot of questions a man of any on. race fucking a tailpipe might be questionable, but. If it's an old brown dude, especially, yeah, it's worse. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. That's what I'm gonna be like. Jolly, you ever seen a tailpipe that got you going? Mm-hmm. I've seen a couple of Mercedes Benz, but I don't. I never. That you uh, wanted to fuck, <laughs> Joe? That's what I'm about to say. I never <laughs> wanted to fuck them though. No, boy, not some what? of those bird scooters. For a million dollars, would you fuck a tailpipe? <laughs> Yes, for a million dollars, I would do most things, Jolly. I think we've established <laughs> that on the show. Well, okay. Well, what about for seven thousand dollars? Would you fuck a tailpipe? For seven thousand dollars, I would do most things. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. What about for two hundred and seventy-six dollars? Would you fuck a tailpipe? Yes. Jimmy, would yeah. you fuck a tailpipe for two seventy-six? I'm saying like the car just got cut off. I just drove back from like Katy, Texas. Oh, it's still hot. Yes, and I and I cut the car off, and I'm Ooh, like, go two hundred and seventy-six huh? big ones. How how hot does it's a tailpipe hot, huh? get? That is, you might fucking melt your dick on that motherfucker. Uh, no, it'd have to be off for at least five minutes. Okay. Let it cool down. Well, you don't get to decide that. But if it was a cold tailpipe, no. I'd fuck that shit for two seventy-five. I'm, right. How long do you think you'd last? With a with a would cold you, tailpipe, I could go all night, man. Would you would you lube it up? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I did some math over here. The guy only lasted fifty six seconds. Wow. <laughs> From that's insertion to come. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hey, that's some mean shit, that tailpipe. Boy. I don't know if I want none of that tailpipe. That Plus, car is gonna leave him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that the, whoever owns this car might want to take it to the shop if their tailpipe is that tight. Yeah, that's yeah. A fire. Or he's just got that's a, probably not good. It's <laughs> probably not good for the condition of the car. Yeah. It's gonna blow up. I was gonna say like he's Fuck, gotta have so a fucking tight giant. Dick. He he might be a mechanic. He's just trying to check your car. Yeah, yeah. We gotta yeah. do this is a standard procedure. We gotta fuck your tailpipe, and if I come in a minute or less, it's not good. Oh man, what the internet, huh? Yeah. The internet is a great and strange place. Sometimes I wonder, why do we do this show? Oh, it's I too mean. depraved, guys. Why don't we, like, why why don't we turn this New Year new podcast? Why don't we make this into, like, a, a an arts and crafts show? Something wholesome. I'm down. Like, with arts and crafts with, like, bitches putting popsicles up their pussies? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds pretty fucking sweet. If you're a bitch out there watching and you want to put a popsicle in your... Pussy. You take the gun out first. Right take right. your gun out first and then come on in. This is a popsicle yeah. challenge. Ladies that are watching, take a picture of a popsicle stick in your pussy and send it to what's our email? 
youlyingpod at gmail.com. Yep. Yeah. And you will win a free link to BioFarm's website where you can use the <laughs> promo code IKYFL20 for 20% off your purchase. If you send that picture, I'll send you a fucking care package of BioFarm. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that. Charlie, let's send get them, let's in get them the spending. pics. Oh, okay, let's get I'm them sorry. spending money. Okay. I've been trying to turn Jolly into Ellen most of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Good use that's of your time. Cool. That's why I've been a little absent. My bad. No, that's perfect. I mean, yeah, I mean, because we're gonna be better yeah. than Ellen. Yeah. yeah. I think. Well, wow. What about Jay Leno? Let me be Jay Leno. Like, we're gonna be you're classy. gonna have to give me a whole nother episode. This took me <laughs> so long for such a that's wow. pretty minimal wow. effort. All right, Very in uh, episode twelve, Brandon, that's your assignment. Right. Is make Jolly look like Jay Leno. Okay. Hell yeah. Can we watch? Oh. Oh, and also, is- can we? By the way, can you can you off camera right now pull your dick out real quick and let's do a quick pube check? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's see. You know, uh, we're waiting. We're trying to get Brandon. If you if if you if, oh my God, if you forgot, yeah. yeah. Wow, thank you, Brandon. Wow, that's a jolly. You might want to look away. Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Uh, if yeah, if you if you're if if you forgot, uh, we're trying to let Brandon's pubes grow out nice and big, so he might one day earn my love. Um, What'd you think? They're looking great, Brandon. They but do look good. Not there yeah. yet. Not quite there. I want them big. Yeah. All right. I'm big. Big, big burly bush. bush. I want a big, big old bush on you, Brandon. So you can, so you can put make braids out of. Here's, them? here's what we'll do. When they're <laughs> as long as your the hair on your head. Okay. So you can either grow your pubes out to that long or cut your hair. Well, I'll let that be in your 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 your. What OTA. about PEDs? Like I was thinking of going to Mexico. Getting some like PED hormone shot in so they'd grow faster. Would you still love me then? Hey, whatever. Oh, what? Getting like a fucking extension Look, on your pubes? Yeah, I set yeah, the like parameters. I'm, like not gonna set, I'm not going to set. I set the parameters. Yeah. I'm not going to set the rules. So okay. once your pubes are as long as the hair on your head, you'll earn my love. Yeah. I, want, I wonder if you can Google if there's a you professional. You can Google anything pubic hair braider in Austin, Texas. I'll find there's that out. There's gotta be. In there's Austin, be. Texas specifically, I don't know. Or, or anywhere like I would go pay to have my pubes professionally braided. I want cornrows. Yeah, is that appropriation? Can you do that? I think so. Yeah, I Jolly, mean, is that think, all right? Yeah, that's that's ending slavery. That type of stuff needs to be done. Yeah. You know, wow. It's, it's White people getting their pubes cornrowed ended slavery? I mean, well, I thought like Lincoln racism, or not slavery. T- Tubman did. Well, it was kind of Lincoln, but it was mostly if you Google Lincoln <laughs> Abraham Lincoln pubes. I think they are. Uh, Abraham, oh, a Lincoln log. That's you, why they call it that. You, you yeah. know that Abraham Lincoln was black, right? Yeah. I believe he was, right? He, he was like. I know you fucking th- lie. 30% black or something. Like that. He, he was, black yeah. He oh, was that's a, like me. I'm like Cherokee, basically. Yeah. You look Cherokee. That, 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 that tan you've been working on. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. It's my heritage coming in. Yeah. I that know. 32nd <laughs> of me, Cherokee. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I think we all got a little Cherokee. I'm, I'm a. Semi- well, don't don't just assume that. That's my people. You're assuming. The, not, none of the braids came up. There's a lot of hair braiders, and, oh. and like we established earlier, if you give people enough money, they'll do anything. So I'm sure we could get it done. Hey, you think we can maybe call one of them braiders, and then see <gasps> if we can talk them in? Let's get them to sponsor the show. Yeah. To talk them into see braiding our grandmother. This is what we need down. to do. And, and, and I'm not and I'm not saying this <laughs> biofarms good. applies to this, but we need to get the most retarded, dumbass, weird, fucking l- retarded sponsors yeah. possible and get them to sponsor this show. I think that would just be incredible. If yeah. we were sponsored by pew braids and moon shoes, I mean, that would be incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, yeah. And biofarms. Which is not retarded at all. I think that we uh-huh. should. We gotta. We 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 gotta get the number to one of these braiders. We're gonna talk to them on air. We're gonna see if we can get them to braid our grandmother's pubic hair because yes. it's getting out of hand on and air. It's all the way down her leg, and we're gonna be like, "Hey, this is just a hypothetical, right?" No, nah, I'm, I'm gonna talk to them. No, no, no. But I'm saying, are you whose grandmother's pubes are we braiding here? Oh, okay. Hypothetically speaking, let's get Brandon to pretend to be our grandmother. Oh, okay. That's cool. I can I mean, do that. We can okay. do it live on air. We'll live, do it live demonstration. Yeah, we're gonna live yeah. braid Brandon's pubes on the podcast. Okay. Yeah. Where Brandon is Mrs. Doubtfire as pretending to be our all of our grandmothers. We, we, we're we brothers. Gotta, the three of us are brothers. You 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 are the braider. Well, and that's I'm if a, you're a guest on that episode, Jimmy. Right, we don't yeah. even know that. The I'm a, I'm gonna call you. And yeah. You you uh you the braider, and I'm trying to get my grandma. Okay. Oh okay. <laughs> 
okay, uh, hello, this is uh, Texas Braiding Incorporated. Uh, yes, how you doing today? Um, this is uh, this is this is Clarence, and I'm trying to get. I know this might sound a little crazy. I know y'all are braid and stuff, but my grandmother, she just refuses to braid her pubic hairs, and, and she's been pretty hairy for let's say uh, <laughs> thirty two years. Wow! And it used to be a lady, but she died recently. I wanted to know: Do you all braid pubic hairs? That's actually exclusively what we braid, sir. Oh, yeah, pretty who do th- pretty wild, huh? And how much how much do you charge to braid these pubes? We charge a dollar per pube. Jesus. Yeah. It's pretty expensive. Yeah, well. That's... We know we know our worth. You learn how to braid pubes. It's so tough. Do you count the fuck pubes? you. You piece of shit. <laughs> Wait, who are you, you talking about? You fucking to? lanky, retarded, skinny fuck. What this is the, the braiding company talking. Holy shit. <laughs> this is the lady <laughs> person who works at the braiding company talking, so I can say whatever the fuck I want, because I've not made any fucking resolutions about your dumb. <laughs> Dumbass. Damn. Fuck you. Can you do it for three hundred dollars? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was a good that was yeah. a good scenario. Yeah, Jimmy, yeah, I can't it. believe you let that woman what talk to you. What happened to the what happened to the the positivity? No, that was that that was a woman. That wasn't me. Oh, uh, I see what you That was did a totally there. different person. Yeah, I, yeah, that was great acting. I can't believe you let that person talk to you. That was horrible. The whole I time know. I was listening to that, I was like I know. That person on the phone sounded like a fat, unfunny fuck. Well, why would she need to be funny? She works at a that's a good braiding point. company. So. Yeah, so it makes sense that she wasn't funny. Yeah, it does. So he threw sausage at a who did <laughs> this this uh oh this guy Florida man arrested after hurling sausage at his brother. I don't know about. I this wonder story. what he could have did. Now was it his brother like, or was it his brother? His brother, I think. Not not brother. That doesn't really yeah. his brother. Yeah, this is brother. So blood or. Blood. See, if so you would have said okay. brother with the A, if you would have had an A on the back, that would have been his homeboy. Mm. Yeah. His brother. Mm. And he wouldn't throw a sausage at his homeboy. Yeah. Just your real brother. No, because his homeboy would be like, man, you threw a sausage at me. Yeah, man, we're going to have a motherfucking <laughs> job ass shit. Is shit, this is a damn sausage party. Because we're at a party and you're throwing sausages at me. Yeah, that makes sense. That's, That's good. It. Yeah. Makes sense. Did you really think that breeding woman was unfunny, Jimmy? No, I thought she was. Wait, what did I? I forgot what I said. Did you really You're think living she was in the fat. past? Did you really think she was fat and unfunny? Did I say she was fat? And stupid and uh, will never amount to and never be a good comedian? <laughs> no, I didn't say any of that. I think she was very funny, you know, for being a braider. You make things so weird. Whoa. What happened to the new positivity, Jimmy? What do you let's uh I am very positive. Okay, me too. I bet I could be more positive than you. Let's yeah, have let's a see. positive Let's have a positive bet. Bam. Let's have a bet. A bet a or a healthy little bet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so, so what's twenty the best? twenty dollars. That's a lot. Well what about whoever is negative gotta cut their eyebrows off? Yeah, Jimmy. Whoever's negative first has to cut their <laughs> eyebrows. Off. Whoever, all right, we'll do it for the next episode if we remember. But whoever's like says something negative about each other's first one eyebrow, Damn. and then you can make a decision about the other one. You can either yeah walk around know, with one or neither. <laughs> yeah. One thing about see when you bet money, that money it's like ah nothing ever happened. But when you bet eyebrows, yeah, that's what <laughs> shit means business. Yeah, yeah. You ever walked around with one eyebrow? No, and I don't intend to. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it's not fun. Are we making this bet or not? Do you want to? I don't know now. This yeah. is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of high stakes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you love stakes. Oh, man. See, you would have got his eyebrow right in. Yeah, what the his fuck? What happened was... to the positive? I mean, I don't know. You're pretty bad at it. Maybe I should have. <laughs> <Well, it was laughs> I see your dumb ass with one eyebrow. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> how crazy! Yeah, I know. Okay, let's make the bet. You want to make the bet? Let's make the bet. All right, hell yeah, let's do it. All right, and next episode, episode twelve, whichever one of us, and that's and and again, honestly, let's. We just assumed that he's coming back for episode twelve. Yeah. That's fun. That's right, great. right. I well, if we do, then we'll make the bet. Because I thought we had another guy as our episode twelve guest, so now we have to have him and him. 
Yeah, why not, man? You make yeah. it, make, okay, you know. so next episode, episode great. 12. It was great. Jimmy and another guest will be there. And between Jimmy <clears throat> and myself, whichever of us is negative about the other person first will have to shave off one of their eyebrows for the following episode. I like that. Okay? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. No yeah, yeah. reneging reneging what? on that. Reneging. What 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 was that? No reneg <laughs> no reneging on that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I won't reneg. Okay, good. Yeah. Let's, you know, let's we're ending we're bringing in the new year with a bang. Um we're dropping the ball uh, in a good way with uh, this final video here, which was simply called uh, midget throwing, right? Oh boy. They do this in the Mia West. <laughs> they do for real. Do they really? Yeah. Google it. All right, so they're, uh, this is an old video this from- This is a sport. Like oh. the 70s or something. <laughs> oh, he's bald This too. is a sport. They do this today, right now in, in bars yeah. in Ohio. It's called midget tossing. I'm not out to hurt nobody. I'm I love not that. out to uh, hurt anybody's feelings. I'm just- making fun of my size and i'm using my size to my advantage and they can't agree with that damn man it broke the Sorry. midget dude's neck he's still out there tossing. <laughs> that's fucking dedication <laughs> to the game <laughs> they're in a bar they're not even like throwing him <laughs> that far this is kind of lame <laughs> he's injured it's kind of lame look and his, sad look honestly. at his neck though he broke his neck oh but look, there is a woman a... with a measuring tape oh. <laughs> he's got a hold <laughs> measuring how far out this midget was tossed <laughs> Well, oh, I think boy. he's supposed to say little people. Well, they called it midget tossing. I'm just using their vernacular. It's yeah. not little people tossing. Man. What's the title of the video, Brandon? Midget tossing. It's midget tossing. If, if, you, if you were a little person, would you rather be called a midget or a little person? Jimmy? Me, I would be, I would rather be called a midget. Yeah. Little has, little just, little Disrespect. person, that's, it's demeaning. That's like saying you little bitty bitch. Yeah, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> I ain't little. <laughs> the hell you talking about i, fa hey, I found I'm our new sponsor pretty big okay. dwarf yes i told you this is this is look, look this is an city. llc by the way it's dwarf tossing llc and it's the only place in the u.s to get 24 hour dwarf tossing we could get them there's one in austin we could get one here for the podcast <laughs> do you see the distinction we there have to get one here for the podcast Wait, can you read all the all the uh services here are the different provide? services the dwarf <laughs> that they offer dwarf strippers dwarf performers dwarf tossing dwarf wrestling Midget pranks and midget hosts. <laughs> I wonder why those two are midget and the rest are dwarves. Okay, I would love to get one of these fine performers on the show. Let's get a quote. Uh, mini kiss. We could get a stripper. We could get a little Elvis. We could get a mini. Oh, we got to get that little bit of stripper. We got to see them, yes. little, them little fucking silver dollar. Oh, yeah. Do you see that? Well, you know those titties. <laughs> you know those titties aren't small. A yeah, mini M&M M &M would be size. pretty fun. <laughs> Yeah, wow, we should get a bunch of them. Yeah, so... You get a group rate? Yeah. I bet like, you yeah. that they're going to be, like, at least a couple hundred bucks a pop um, for, like, an hour or something of their time, but... Um, we could bring one on and, and like, ask them, like... Oh, our rates start off at $400 and up, depending on city, event, and zip code, so... Hey, a hundred from each of us. We all pull together, right, Brandon? Right, Jimmy? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Do we want a male midget or a female midget? Female. Uh, Why'd you say female so quickly? Why are you raising your eyebrows? You're yeah. only going to have one eyebrow to raise soon, buddy. That's true. Maybe we can. Gotta you agree. Him. Maybe yeah. we can set this up over here. You think we could get like some soft in the back and let's toss one of them little fuckers around yes. for a little while. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> I think we set up like three or four little strippers just go, just dancing the whole episode. As we as we doing the whole episode. We don't even need to acknowledge them or anything. Except for like if Jimmy's was the guest hypothetically and I get bored at some point hypothetically, oh. maybe I zone off and I'm like, yeah. I want to play like hot potato. Oh, sorry. No, I looked up too high. Like, <laughs> they they kind of heavy. They pretty dense. We heat them up. Them little fuckers heavy. Yeah. You got to uh, you gotta catch them with your, with your body. Yeah, you got to use your body. Yeah, you can't just like. You got to do a nice underhand just, toss yeah. too. That's a lot of ass, midget. Oh, man. Well, we're going to try and set it up. Um, we would love to get you as a sponsor on the show. Soon we're going to have Moon Shoes, we're going to have uh, Burger King, we're going to have uh, bra Pube Braiders, we're going to have Midget Tossers, and Biofarm um, yeah. as our sponsors for the show. So just wait. This this beautiful program is, is ever-growing. It's ever-evolving. I can't wait to see what kind of guests we're able to get 
in this new year. Once we go, yeah, I'm pretty sure we see. And like, we're right starting this. out, like we're setting out like a pretty low bar to like to to beat. So it'll be interesting to like see w- the caliber that goes up from here. And I don't mean okay. that in any. I mean that. I wasn't even talking about you necessarily. Uh, well, this was a super fun episode, a super fun way to ring in the new year. Um, I know I had a blast. I'm going to stick to my resolutions, even if certain people statistically will not stick to theirs. And, you know, usually when people don't stick to the resolutions, it just means like, oh, you're just kind of uh, nothing really matters. None but matter. this time, certain people should remember that if they don't stick to their resolution – certain people are going to look like a one eyebrow freak very soon. But yeah, that was fun. Any thoughts on the episode, Jolly, or New Year's, or anything at all before we get into the plugs? I mean, it was it was, uh, it was was pretty amazing. I, I had a blast. I mean, this is a great way to start the year. You know, pretty positive. Had a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can get uh, these sponsors from Dwarf Tossing. <laughs> That'd be pretty awesome. I mean, it's already the greatest show on earth. You might as well make it more greater and awesome. We're always looking to get more greater and awesome. You know what I mean? Um, Jimmy, our guest, uh, anything you want to plug today, bud? No plugs uh, at all. Yeah, just check out. Not even your Instagram or nothing? Oh, yeah, you go to jimmy.moynihan on Instagram.com. Yeah, and I got a bunch of fun videos, a lot of cool clips and uh, I, good stories. So, uh, yeah, man, I want a midget. We could just have them here on call. Yeah. Just if we need one, because they either. fun. I, yeah. I want to be friends with a midget. Like Me I want to be like best friends with a midget. Who's we? All of us. Just as like three people, individuals, or are you talking about the podcast? Should we, we each have a midget? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you, you can, can work just, on your own. I midget. want my midget to sit on my lap. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give my midget the choice whether they want to sit on my lap or want to sit on maybe like a little unicycle I have for them. <laughs> yeah, that is. I'm gonna give great. them the choice and empower them. I'm like yeah. you guys, assholes. But what about a, a unicycle? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. Cool. Well, uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Ike Rafferty. Uh, I have. Probably even funnier and cooler clips than certain other people. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, Jolly? Yeah. Uh, you know, um, January 11th, I'm in San Diego at the Mic Drop Comedy Club in San Diego. January the 11th. That's going to be fun. Fun? Yeah. Then I got a bunch more, but I'll tell you about them later. Oh, well, this. Yep. Never mind. Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to follow uh, the podcast on Instagram at You Lying Pod. Uh, yeah, subscribe yeah. to The Creek in the Cave on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you like the show, share it with a friend. Yeah. Uh, if you're listening on iTunes uh, or Spotify or whatever, give us five stars or rate us however you feel is fair, I guess. Um, but. You know, five stars is great. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. Might as well um, fun. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to see what kooky shit we have in store for us in 2024. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching this far, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. And we're going to be in a city near you, the whole pot, doing comedy shows, a lot of them this year. Your favorite podcast. So email us. Maybe we can get in touch with the club owner and the whole pot coming out because you love us and we love you. I know you fucking lie. <laughs>